The first step of creating captions in Premiere is to go to Window and make sure the text window is enabled. And in the text window, we want to go into Captions and we'll select Create Captions from Transcript. Caption preset can just be subtitle default. You can go into Captioning Preferences and we can change the format. We can change the style. So if you've got any styles, you can add them in here. We can go to Maximum Length in Characters and we can reduce that if we want that shorter. Minimum durations in seconds, gaps between captions. Lines, we can have that single or double lined. And then we can close that down. We can go into transcription preferences and we can change the speaker labeling to either separate speakers or do not separate speakers. And then on audio and analysis, you can select which audio track to transcribe. So I've only got one audio, so I can just do mix. But if you had music on two and dialogue on one, then you could just select audio one and select transcribe and create captions. Now you just want to play this back and double check everything is correct. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create this really awesome loading animation inside of Adobe. Now everything there looked great for me. There were no mistakes, no spelling mistakes, no words were wrong, but if something was wrong, you could just go in and make an adjustment. But once you've done that, you can just go. Now, once you're happy with that, you can just select the first caption down here, go to Essential Graphics, and if you can't see that, then go Window, Essential Graphics, select Edit. We can change the font. I go for Monster Rat Regular. You can change the left, center, or right align. You can change the size of this. You can change the placement of this. You can also change the fill, so I'm gonna change this to a black fill. I'm also gonna change the background, so I'm gonna make this yellow. Press OK. I'm going to increase their opacity, increase the size of that box, round off the edges a little bit. Now from there, I'm just going to save this as a new style. So I'm just going to call this yellow box updated. We'll press OK on that. And now, as you'll see, all of the other graphics have updated. If they don't though, then just highlight all of those, go into essential graphics and change the track style and they should all update. So now we want to highlight all of those captions. We'll go into graphics and titles and we'll put upgrade caption to graphic. Now these are just text graphics, so we can go to effect controls, scroll to the beginning and pull the scale down to zero. Create a brand new keyframe on the scale at zero. We'll go four frames to the right. Pull up to 100, maybe 110. And then we'll go four or five to the right again and back to 100. You also need to move the anchor point, which is this circle, onto the text box like this. Then we'll convert that last keyframe to ease in, and when we play this back, you can see that now pops in. If it's not quick enough, then just shorten the gap between those keyframes. And then we'll copy the motion, Command C, or Control C on Windows, and then Command or Control V to paste on all of the rest. Now, when we play this back, you can see these captions are now popping up in this custom style. 